Are you wondering how to make good YouTube videos as easily as possible? Well, in this video, we're gonna cover the simple YouTube video script structure that we use to boost watch time, add more value for viewers, and create content much faster. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now there's a lot of people out there telling you how to make good YouTube video, but they often miss the most important factor that can easily destroy the entire experience for viewers, no matter how good your gear, your lighting, your camera, or your video quality. I'm talking about your content, and more specifically, how it's structured, which is absolutely critical to getting your viewers' attention and stacking massive value to keep their attention throughout your video. And the best part is with a simple structure in place, you'll not only massively maximize your watch time and value for your viewers, you'll also make your job presenting in front of the camera much easier. So right now, I'm gonna give you just that, the simple YouTube video structure that we use at Primal Video that we've tried and tested and that we've refined over hundreds of videos. Plus, once we're done, I'll also share with you a link to grab our YouTube ranking guide to help you maximize views on those awesome new videos that you'll be creating. It covers our top tools to easily find high ranking search terms and a complete overview on how the ranking process works. All right, so here is the five step, super simple video structure. Now, as we run through these five steps, I'll also bring up an example of one of our videos showing you how this works IRL. The first thing you wanna do in any video is to hook your viewers in. So you wanna throw out a hook so that they know that they are in the right place. They know what you're gonna be covering in the video, what they can expect to see in your video. This is going to keep them around longer watching your video. So here's an example of a hook that we use in the start of every one of our videos. In this video, we're gonna look at the three best YouTube keyword tools in 2019 and how you can easily use them to grow your YouTube ranking, your video views and subscribers with YouTube SEO. So you can see straight away, we're letting the viewers know the content that we're going to be covering. We're hooking them in for the remainder of the video. We're making them feel like they're in the right spot if that's the topic that they're looking for. After you've delivered your hook, that's where you can move into the next step, which is your intro. Now, this is where you can introduce yourself, your your brand, your company that you're working for, and also then go into a bit more detail on the topic that you're gonna be covering in the video, and also explain how the content is going to roll out and how the content is going to be delivered. So an example of that and how we use it in our videos is where I'll say something like, hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you amplify your business and brand with video. If you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. So that's the first piece. That's where I'm introducing myself. I'm introducing Primal Video and I'm also letting you know that there is links and those sorts of things in the description. After I've introduced myself and Primal Video and what we do at Primal Video, I'll then branch into a broader introduction on the topic that we're going to cover in this video. I'll also then include how the video is going to be delivered so that it makes it easier for the viewers to follow along. YouTube SEO, search engine optimization, is one of the most consistent and reliable and reproducible ways to get your content found organically and to get more views and subscribers on YouTube. Using some simple keyword research tools, you can easily identify high volume ranking video topics and the exact search terms that your viewers are actually typing in to find them. So right now we're gonna take a look at our picks for the three best YouTube keyword research tools in 2019 and exactly how you can use them to grow your YouTube channel faster. Then after we've done the intro, we move into the content. And obviously the content piece is where you're delivering the content that you've promised in the hook and in the intro. So whether it is running through the top X for Y, the top three keyword research tools to grow on YouTube or to, to rank on YouTube, or whether it's running through an entire process step by step, this is the part where you deliver the content. Now the delivery of the content itself may change based on the types of videos that you're going to be creating. Not all content that you deliver will match a top X for Y model or a X amount of steps to do something. But inherently with those types of videos, it makes it easier for the viewers to stick around and to follow along with because the content is placed in a logical order. So even if they are familiar with steps one and two or tools one and two, they may stick around for tool number three because number three might be the absolute game changer for them. So the way that you're structuring the content piece can also 
if it suits the type of videos you're creating, help you keep people on your videos longer, but also make it succinct and clear and easy for them to follow along while they're watching. Now, after we've delivered the content, we move into what we like to call the bonus. Now, this is where you over deliver to your audience based on what they've come in for, the topic of the video that they're there to watch, you know where they are at. So you know any pains or struggles that once they've watched your content piece and once you've solved and helped them, what's the next piece that you can solve for them? Or what else are they going to be interested in that you can deliver to them? This is the bonus, this is the over deliver. So for example, on some of our videos on video editing software, we know that they are there because they're interested in video editing software and probably finding out which is the best one for them to use. So what we'll normally do on a video like that is we'll throw in maybe three bonus tips to help someone edit faster. So we know that they're there for video editing and video software because that's the video they've clicked on. So by us then sharing video editing tips, we know that it's perfectly in line with the content that they're watching and it's more of a wow or more of an over delivery for them. They're not expecting it, but this is going to help them. We know where they're at. We know what else is going to help them to edit faster. Now, this isn't something where you need to go and talk for 10 more minutes and drag out the length of your video, something short and sharp that really leaves a good taste in your viewers' mouths thinking, wow, I didn't expect that, but that really is gonna help me implement what I've just learned. So now for the three tips to edit faster. The first one is to learn the keyboard shortcuts. All you'll have to do is open up the help file for your video editing application, go down to keyboard shortcuts or Google search keyboard shortcuts video editing application name, and you'll find the list of keyboard shortcuts for your specific application. So the bonus isn't something that we just slap on the end of the content piece. This is something that we actually call out earlier in the video as another hook to get people to stick around towards the end of the videos. And I'll literally say something like, and make sure you stick around to the end because I'll also share with you three tips to help you edit faster no matter which video editing software you're using. So I've mentioned that there is a bonus piece coming that I'm also gonna share something else that is in line with the topic that they are there to watch. And the last step in your video structure is the call to action. This is what you would like your viewers to do next after watching your video. Is it to subscribe? Is it to give your video a thumbs up? Is it to leave a comment? Is it to click a link on screen to go off to another video, whether it's yours, whether it's someone else's? Is it to go and grab a copy of the free guide or the free PDF that you might've mentioned as part of the bonus or to help them see results with the video content that you are creating? This is the section of your video where you are giving guidance on what your viewer should do next. And really, for the people that make it right to the end of your video, these are the most engaged viewers. You wanna make sure that that next step is going to help them on their journey and really link off to something, whether it's yours or someone else's, something that is going to help them continue that journey and continue that YouTube session. So depending on the individual video, the call to action that we would use could differ between actually delivering on that bonus, if it's a link to a resource or to a PDF, to help them see results with what they've just watched, or it could be a link to a related video that we've mentioned throughout the video, or it could be a link to a related video on someone else's channel. Now, if you're already creating widescreen video content and you're looking to repurpose your content over for portrait, things like IGTV or for Instagram stories, then check out the video linked on screen now where we run through all the options, how you can do it so it looks good, but also how you can do it easily as well and I'll see you soon. Okay, so those are the five core items that you want to include in every video. Your hook, your intro, the content, the bonus, and the call to action. Now with your call to actions, you can actually mix them throughout your video content as well. Generally, we'll save the biggest call to action, the biggest action that we want our viewers to take until the very last one on the end screen. But you could also have a smaller call to action like asking people to go and subscribe or to like your videos or ask them to comment midway through or partway through your video to keep that engagement going as well. But I would strongly recommend keeping the big ask until the very end of your video. If it is to leave YouTube and go off to your website to opt in or to register for something or to go to a website, you really only wanna be doing this at the end of your video. Now for a little inception for you going back towards the start of the video, I did mention our bonus, our hook to keep you towards the end of this video that at the end of this video I would show you how you can access our YouTube ranking guide to help you maximize those views on your awesome new videos once you've got this video structure in place there is a link on screen to where you can download the guide it's also in the description 
below. Grab your copy. It's going to be an absolute game changer for you and your videos and your YouTube channel. And I'll see you on the next one.